Hi guys, it's Alice and today we're doing another one of those recommendation videos where I recommend a book to you based on something you may have already read and liked. I've done two of these videos before, which I will link to in the description, and I just feel like this is such a fun way of recommending books, so we've got some more. And first up, this time, we have Call Me By Your Name by Andrea Asimov. This is an absolutely beautiful romance novel set in the Italian Riviera, where this sudden and intense love blossoms between a young man and a house guest that is staying with them over the summer. It's a really kind of painful but also gorgeous story about a life-defining love and I just think it's amazing. I love this book. Call Me By Your Name reminds me of another book that I read that is also really good and it is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. This story is about two young boys who become friends when they're about 12 years old and they are like best friends and eventually this friendship evolves into something more and then we meet them in the future and they end up in very very different places in their lives. Both of these are heart-wrenching stories filled with tenderness and both of them explore romantic love between two men. But I feel like for me what makes them most similar is that both of them are very genuine in what they do and they're incredibly emotional, well-written stories. Secondly, we have got Homegoing by Yag Yasi. This is a historical fiction novel that swept booktube a few years back and it starts off in Ghana where we meet two sisters who are destined for very different lives. One ends up being sold into slavery and the other one ends up marrying a slaver and we meet them and all of their descendants up until present day. So in each chapter we meet a new person and all of them are the descendant of the person we read about previously. And I just think this is an amazing book. I think it's structured really interestingly and it's filled with history and culture. If you like this book, I think you might also like a book that came out last year and it is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. This is contemporary fiction set in England and in it we meet all of 12 characters, most of whom are black British women and we get to read about their lives and struggles and in the end all of these characters somehow sort of link together. What these books have in common is that they both follow multiple characters and they explore a lot of the same themes like race and what it's like living as a person of color as well as history and culture. They are a little bit different in that one is historical fiction and one is contemporary fiction and the writing style is quite different but both of them are structured in a really interesting way that sort of sets them apart from your average novel. Then I have got some books that I kind of mention all the time, I feel, but here they are again. So we have got Cocaine Blues by Carrie Greenwood. This is a historical fiction mystery novel and it's set in the 1920s in Australia where we meet Phryne Fisher, who is a lady detective. And this is the first book in a series and in this one, it's mostly about her just moving to Melbourne and sort of setting up there and then solving some mysteries along the way. And I love these books. The main character is excellent and they're just really, really fun. If you like this book, I think you might also enjoy The Mitford Murders by Jessica Fellows. This is also a historical fiction mystery. It starts off in 1919 in London, so it's almost the 1920s. And the story is about this young woman who wants to escape the clutches of her very horrible uncle. So she relocates and becomes the maid of the Mitford family. And she ends up getting caught up in this murder on a train. Both of these books are what I would call cozy mysteries with a little bit of extra darkness to them. And both of them are very easy to read. They're just fun and entertaining and kind of light and they're some of my favorite cozy mysteries. Then we've got some more historical books, although the first one I don't actually have a copy to show you, but it is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction novel that starts off in France in 1939 and we follow two sisters who end up on very different paths as they go through World War II. And I especially loved the setting of this book and the relationship between 
the sisters. If you like that book, I think you would like A Long Petal of the Sea by Isabel Allende. This is also historical fiction and it starts off in the late 1930s in Spain when the country is being gripped by civil war and we meet a man and his sister-in-law and they have to flee the country along with thousands and thousands of others. This book has amazing, amazing characters and I love that it has a really strong sense of place and you really feel like you're transported back in time and to all of these different settings. I will say I liked The Nightingale but I didn't love it but I do love this book. I think maybe in my opinion this is a little bit better and I just know that so many people loved the Nightingale, so I want more people to read this book as well because they have a lot of similarities. Both have really interesting characters and both sort of take a look at the effects that war has on people and love and family and this one does follow the characters for a little bit longer but I really think if you liked The Nightingale you would love this. Lastly, we've got two of my favorite books that just go really well together. So first up, we have got Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I've mentioned this book in another one of these videos, but here it is again. This is a contemporary fiction novel set in this immaculate suburb in Cleveland, where we meet a family who decide to let their rental home to this single mother and her daughter. And as we go into this novel, their lives become more and more entangled. And that has some consequences. And I love this book. I think it's so good. If you like this, which if you've read it, I'm sure you do, you will almost definitely also like Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keane. This is also contemporary fiction, it's also set in the suburbs, and the story is about these two neighboring families and this bond between their children and a horrible, horrible tragedy that has consequences for generations. I love this book too, it's excellent. Both of these books are just amazing novels. They're well written and they have really well crafted and interesting characters. They have similar settings and they explore a lot of the same themes like family and secrets and what happens behind closed doors. If you like literary fiction and family dramas and character driven novels, these are like must reads. Okay guys, those are all the books that I had to show you today and I'd love to know if you've read any of these or if you can think of any like book recommendations similar to these and I'll see you soon. Bye!